You've been using MathQuill for the past few lessons, and hopefully you've gotten used to entering exponents and fractions using it, making your equations and expressions look super pretty. But now that we're starting to use radicals, we need to use MathQuill in a new way. I already showed you earlier how to enter square roots in MathQuill. You type backslash SQRT space and then whatever goes inside. But MathQuill also lets us write nth roots. So it allows us to type radical signs and then fill in whatever number we want for the index. And then of course, enter whatever we want underneath the radical. To write a radical sign where we need to write a number, you just write backslash nth root space and then whatever number you want to go in this spot up here. To get out of typing in the index spot to typing underneath the radical sign again, you need to type a right arrow key. So try out these first two where I've given you some instructions on what to type. And then for your two challenge problems, I'd like you to experiment combining the different functionalities in MathQuill that we've been using with this new set of tools. So we have, for example, in this term, exponents combined with radicals and fractions all in one. So if you can do this, you're an official MathQuill pro. Just experiment, just have fun, just see how incredibly powerful this tool is.